For our capstone design project with the University of Vermont, our project team has been tasked to find a solution to the roadway washouts during high water events at the Scribner Bridge in Johnson, Vermont. Johnson is located in Lamoille County, northeast of Burlington. The Scribner Bridge has historical significance to the town of Johnson as it is one of the last remaining original covered bridges in Vermont. During high water events, the bridge itself is the main cause of flooding, acting as a partial dam due to its large concrete abutments. This causes water to back up and overflow the northern banks upstream of the bridge. This is the intersection as it exists today. Here's the scene after the most recent washout in April of 2011. Our first task for this project was to complete a topographical survey of the site and the surrounding area. There is a house built out of stone. Wooden floors, walls, and windows. Tables and chairs warmed by all of the dust. This is a place where I don't feel alone. This is a place where I feel at home. Soil samples were collected at the site and brought back to the lab where they were tested to determine soil properties. After the necessary data was collected, we designed three alternative solutions. One of our proposed solutions was to construct a detention pond upstream of the site to handle excess stormwater. After performing the necessary calculations, we determined the area required for the pond to handle storms of the magnitude of those seen in the past would be far too large and therefore not feasible for this site. Our next design alternative was to install a triple cell box culver beneath the intersection. This would serve as a secondary channel to handle the excess stormwater. This was an effective design, however it is a relatively costly option and therefore not the best choice for the town of Johnson. Our final alternative was to construct an armored roadway. This includes a retaining wall along the northern bank upstream of the bridge, a paved surface over the intersection and a riprap reinforced bank downstream from the bridge. This design would protect the upstream bank from eroding. In the event that the water exceeded the height of the retaining wall, the pavement would provide a path for the flood water to move across the intersection. The water could then flow down the riprap, reinforce bank, and rejoin the river downstream of the bridge. This design alternative was determined to be practical and the most economical for the town of Johnson, and therefore is the option that we recommend. By the cracks of a skin I climb to the top I climb the tree to see